Hey guys, this is the Halo Reviewer, and I'm here to do a review of the Halo Reach Play Arts action figure Kai, or, uh, the Halo Reach Square Enix figures, which more people know them by, probably. Um, now this figure, Halo fans, or Halo figure collectors have been waiting for these to come out for quite some time. I will be doing a review on all three of them. I'm, this is the Emil figure. Uh, I will be doing Noble Six in June next, but this is just a quick look at the box. At the front, you have a nice open box concept. Uh, concept. He comes with a shotgun, two different hands, and uh, a frag grenade. He looks very nice in the box. I really didn't want to take him out, but I wanted to get some reviews on these guys before a lot, a lot of people did. Uh, Square Enix products, Halo Xbox 360. Um, the bottom's kind of dirty. Halo Reach. A nice picture of a meal. And, uh, the, open, the top's open. Now let's open this guy up and get the review done. Okay, so I got him out of packaging, and this guy is flippin' amazing. Holy darn crikeys. He is super detailed, super game accurate, and really awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, it's so... So... Ah, oh my god. I'm pretty glad I took him out of packaging. Um, I'll move right into articulation. Head can turn 360 degrees. Look up and down. And tur tilt his head side to side. Arm can go in and out. Can bend at the elbow. Arm can turn 360 degrees, and it can bend the elbow 360 degrees. Um, he can bend the wrist, very nice, and they can go in and out. He has nice waist articulation and torso articulation. He can bend here and here, which makes him bend very well. Um, what else? What else is there? He can bend at the thigh, but can bend at the knee, and can bend at the ankle, and turn 360 degrees. Um, that's about it for articulation. He can bend very nice. He's not stiff at all. Like, he, he, um, can bend easily, but not loose. He isn't loose. It's just, like, the perfect figure ever. Um, and a really cool thing that, um, uh, Square Enix did that McFarlane didn't is that it has a removable knife for him. He could probably hold it very well with his other hand because he has two. I will show you that later when I show his other hand. Um, I will move on to his details. This, his belt, is a different piece of plastic. It's m like molded. Uh, his shells and everything are so detailed. Even the buckles on him are sweet. And they took time to scratch in his actual skull. I will move on to equipment now. He comes with a shotgun, a frag grenade, and two extra hands. Um, the shotgun is really detailed. It looks exactly like it is in the game, and he can hold it without having to cut that part off, like McFarlane figures. Uh, the spray grenade is very detailed. It's painted. It is painted very well. Uh, let's get some details in here. I don't want to have to zoom in and out, so I'll just do this. See that? Very well done. Um... Now, he can hold the stuff, like, this hand can hold his shotgun. You just have to sort of slide it in like this. Um, there we go. Aha, uh -huh. there. And it can hold it very well, very, very well. Now that goes right there. And, uh, to take it, you just sort of pull it off like that, off the ball, 
and um, you just have to push this one in like this. Okay, I'm back because I was <laughs> interrupted and um, it would have took me a while to put the sand in anyway. So yes, yeah, see, he can hold it very well. He can hold a shotgun like he's a beast. And like I said I was going to do, I will take out his knife and put it in his hand. Now, he can't really hold it that well. Like, if he was to hold it, you'd probably have to put it in like that. But that's about how you'd be able to do it. But it's mostly, mostly just for display. Um, now, he can't hold the grenade with that hand, but he can hold it with his open hand, because there's a peg in it. Like, right there. And what you do is you just take the peg, and stick it in that. Oh, whoops. And you just stick it in there. And he's holding it. But I didn't put it in good enough. <laughs> there we go. Now you can just sort of hold it. Like that. And that's about it to this figure review. He's a really good figure. I love him a lot. He is so awesome. He is, oh my god, amazing. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do a comparison to the McFarlane figures. See, he is very, very big. Uh, I got this guy for $50. I got him on Boxing Day for $35, which is a really good deal. Um, if you're a hardcore Halo fan, pick this guy up. If you're hardcore, if you're a hardcore, um... Figure col Halo figure collector, definitely pick this guy up. Um, what else? That's about it to this review. Thanks for watching this review by that Halo reviewer. Rate, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Please subscribe because I'm almost at a thousand. And um, yeah, bye.